this video I'm going to show you how to wire up power windows and power door lock actuators or door lock motors. Now, optimally I'd like to use a dual relay socket, but since I have the one I have does not match up to the color chart that I have here, I'm definitely not going to use it, so it's going to confuse you. So, what I have here is two standard single pole double throw relays. Now what I'm going to do is just get them nice and snug. I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to wrap these two relays side by side. That's going to keep it nice and neat so I can work without making a big mess. So basically, you're going to wire these up the same as one. You're going to do the same thing on the other. So what I'm going to do is just take my stripper, strip back all five wires on both of these relays. Like that. The other one. How much wire you take off is going to depend on what you're, how you're wiring this thing at the end. If you're using butt connectors, crimp connectors, soldering, shrink wrapping, or whatever you're doing, so use your own judgment. Okay, so I have all ten of those wires stripped back. I'm going to clean this mess up. Okay. Now this here, I'm going to use a standard two-wire door lock actuator for this video. If you were actually using power windows instead of door lock actuators, which this video works for just as fine, you would just use the two wires from the power window motor force. So I'll lay that right there, and my two relays are ready to go. So what you're going to want to do is the blue wires, pin 86, you're going to want to pull those to the side. These are going to be the negative outputs either from your switches or your alarm, remote start, whatever it is. Pull those to the side. The black wires, pin 85, you want to grab those together. The greens, which are 87. You're going to take those and put those together with these black ones. Pull those guys together. So all four of these are going at 12 volts. Your middle pins. 87A. You're going to put those together. You're going to put those to ground. And these, pin 30s, the bottom pin on your relay, are going to be your output legs to your door motor or your window. It doesn't matter if you put this one to this one or the other way around. Because once you do your installation, it's, I find it's a lot easier to do your work in your door panel and, you know, don't get too fanatical about which one goes where because you can always reverse these two here, which is where you're going to be working. It's much simpler to just flip these, then go back to your door and change them here. So, like I said, these four are going to go to 12 volts. This is the 12 volt wire. That's, that's from my power supply, which you can't see, but it's there. Put those to 12 volts. You can see it's red, that's 12 volts power. Yellow's the middle pin, 87A, you're going to put to ground. My mode is already wired. So now, from your alarm, which is pretty much any alarm there is, or any switch for that fact. Whatever you have on the input side is what's going to come out of the switch. If it's a rocker switch you're using. And all you're going to do is you're going to apply ground to one of the relays. You can see that's pulling that door lock actuator in. Do the other. And it's going to throw the door lock actuator out. So what's basically happening here is when I click this relay, this relay is throwing 12 volts out 
on pin 30, and the other one is doing the opposite. It's going negative. So once it's opposing polarity, it's going to pull the motor in the backwards direction, and when you reverse it, it's going to make the motor go up. So in this case, this is called momentary, because I'm only temporarily touching these wires to ground. And whenever there's power applied, that's what's going to send the power to, through the relays to the motor. But in the power window, you're going to use a switch, which is, you know, typically going to be held down by a latching channel on a relay uh, from an alarm, or you're going to be using a switch when you're depressing. As long as you're holding it, it's going to hold the motor just the same. And that's all there is to wiring up the all-act actuators and power windows.